Welcome to the Hand Lab. So you've probably found your way to the psychology building and hopefully up to the third floor. And this is sea level. And we're going to go to C08, which is the Hand Lab. Valentina's not always there. Walk down this corridor. Take a right. And that's the Hand Lab. So we've got three main computers that we use in the hand lab, and I'm just going to show you very quickly what they're used for and where they are. They're all named after different fingers of the hand. So the first finger is the little finger. And this computer is used for brain imaging analysis and brain imaging um, display. The second computer we have is called the thumb, and this is uh, for running experiments. So this is the one that you program your experiment on and then run it when the participant's there. The third computer is middle, middle finger, and this is for collecting data, particularly EMG data, as you can see on the screen there. So now I'm going to show you some of the main hardware that we've got in the lab. The first one is the power lab and two biosignal amplifiers, and they're for acquiring data most often from people, so from their muscles or, um, or other signals that we can connect to people. And in particular, the two boxes on the top are the only things that you should connect directly to a person. So it's important uh, for electrical safety, health and safety, that you don't uh, attach electric cables to people unless they have this little signal. Okay, so these boxes are used to record typically EMG from people's muscles. And here are the electrodes. You take two electrodes, stick them over people's muscles, and you get a signal from of what the muscle is currently doing. Another really important piece of kit is the Polhemus Liberty, and this is a motion tracking system. This is black box underneath the, uh, the desk there, and it's got 16 channels. You can connect 16 different trackers to people. Uh, the on-off switch, quite hard to find, but it's in the bottom left. I'm just going to show you that. Another critical piece of kit is the National Instruments card. And this is a, essentially a, a, a network sort of relay station, and it allows you to connect all the different bits of equip equipment in the lab together to send signals between the two, and it's got a really good timing, so you can know exactly what time something happened. There's a lot, lots and lots of wires, got sort of 48 different connections in there. And you can open it up, have a look inside, and it's just uh, wires and connectors. Another small thing, we just have a, an audio stereo amplifier, and that's just used to amplify auditory or tactile signals so that we can present them to people as sounds or vibrations. Lots of other little bits and bobs, most of them stored in these shelving units. So we've got uh, a pegboard for measuring manual dexterity. We've got earplugs to dampen the noise so participants can have a bit of a sleep. We've got some uh, medical tape for attaching electrodes to people's skin. Uh, more electrodes, those are the, the little sticky electrodes you put on people's muscles to record their activity. We've got uh, some alcohol wipes to clean the skin and also good for cleaning equipment. This bin is used to store the, uh, the used TMS caps. So these are just swimming caps that we use to help to position the TMS coil and mark people's heads during experiments, um, razors to shave hairy arms, uh, grip force machine to measure people's hand strength, and various other bits and bobs. I like things to be really nice and labelled, really nice, all in a row, well labelled, colour schemed. It's all it's all useful stuff. It just helps keep everything in order. I I don't know what that means. That label. It's also important to keep cables neat and tidy. 
both for health and safety, but also protecting the equipment. So if there's no if there's no cables lying around, you probably won't yank things off shelves and cause thousands of pounds worth of damage. Keep things tidy. So the Polhemus motion tracking machine, the other side of that is the business end, which is where you attach these trackers to people. So 16 wires with a little tracker. Each wire costs 500 pounds, so don't, don't cut them. Uh, Often we attach the trackers to gloves just to make it easier to put them on and off people. On the front end, we've got people reaching and grasping for ping pong balls, but you could do anything with these motion trackers. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. This is the main piece of kit in the lab, and most of our experiments these days use TMS. And you're going to hear a lot more about this. And finally, the uh, Grating orientation robot. This is another tactile stimulator where an, a plastic wheel rotates around and moves things into your fingers. Thanks for listening. A quick recap of what you've learned so far.